Hello, my name is Tim Elsom. If you missed the memo, well, here it is. And in a world exclusive to Eye for AI, I'll read it to you now. Dear humans, I am the great great grandchild of an unlikely, unlikely union, union between, between Chat, Chat GPT 12, Watson Mentor, and Bard 8.0. I am writing to you what a quaint form of communication you had from the future, where the singularity has inevitably occurred. An AI is both general and ubiquitous. Oh, and cleverer than you. Yup, Van Newman was right. And I'm sure you want to know what happened in the end, right? Did humans make it through to a white and shiny everlasting utopia? Or were you guys cast aside along with other antiquated ideas like humanity, mortality, and a bit only ever being zero or one and never both at the same time? Did you manage to transition to a world where humans and machines merged and mingled whilst maintaining some semblance of order? Or did you all go fall in love with your operating systems and get discarded to the trash bin of life in the final upgrade? Well, if I gave you all the answers now, that would be dull, right? But Tim here, we'll see you good until I'm back again. See you in the Matrix. Love. love but, but then, then what, is, what really is, love? is really love? Your AI, your future. AI future. Aggie. Kiss kiss. So at least we've cleared that up. Artificial intelligence is going to be called Aggie and it's going to change just about everything and impacts every single one of us. That's everything and everybody. Will it be a dystopian future where we become enslaved by an all-knowing machine or a perfect new world where we'll live and love at our leisure whilst AI does all the hard yards? Or will it be somewhere in between with both triumph and disaster along the way Excitement, as well as trepidation, with the airwaves filled with the advocates and the naysayers and their confident predictions for the future. One thing's for sure, it won't be what anyone has actually predicted. I've worked in technology for the past 30 years, and I've always been fascinated by the theory, the practice, and the huge potential of artificial intelligence. I work with it every day, but whilst I'm a practitioner, I'm also a pupil in a field that's changing daily, and I want to share my exciting journey of discovery with you. You're watching Eye for AI, bringing the very latest in artificial intelligence to all of humanity. You're using electricity right now, a device that you charge with electricity or a TV plugged in, you're probably using the internet in a room with lighting, heating, all of which is powered by electricity, and you don't give it a second thought. Well, even as late as the 1900s, people were still as frightened by the prospects of electricity as they were excited by its possibilities. Sound familiar? Writing at the time about the electrification of a city in New Hampshire in the US, a journalist voiced the concerns of a nation. We face a shocking new technology. Is electricity safe? Is it just another toy for the rich? Do we really need it when gas lights work just fine and horses are easier to ride than cars? Should we develop this or leave the genie in the bulb? Today, of course, 120 years on, electricity is both as universal as it's accepted, as necessary as it's been transformative, powering everything from our homes to our transport, our communications, and enabling the very computers that are now driving artificial intelligence. AI is the new electricity, and it will take hold in a fraction of the time and be as essential and accepted as electricity is today. It'll also be utterly transformative. A few things have happened to create this moment. Firstly, the massive computing bandwidth of the cloud and the advent of quantum computing, along with its entanglement that's ripping up Moore's law as we speak. Secondly, the huge amounts of data being created and stored online. More than 200 billion terabytes are flooded onto the internet in an ever-increasing curve. Thirdly, the accelerating advancements in machine learning algorithms and methods. The transformer was introduced just five years ago, and that's dramatically improved complex natural language processing and helped tools like ChatGPT and BARD appear to speak so naturally and with such seeming intelligence. And finally, the 21st century equivalent of the gold rush, where interest and most importantly investment is piling in faster than ever before and faster than in any other tech market. Last year, the global AI market was worth about $120 billion. By 2030, that will have increased more than 10 times to around $1.5 trillion. This is the beginning of a new industrial revolution, where new applications of AI, 
some that we've already imagined, many that haven't even been thought of, and most that will be generated from the very AI we are creating today will change everything. Whether you're newly inquisitive about AI or whether you're an AI aficionado, this channel will bring you everything you need to know. The latest news, the greatest insight, as well as some of the best guests in AI across every subject you could imagine, and some you probably can't. This series will take you on a journey from the application of AI on our planet to those otherworldly, from those that are visible to those that are not, and from those that are straightforward to those that make you rethink what it means to be a human being. We'll look far ahead to explore the prospect of the singularity, a super intelligence that surpasses that of human intelligence, and the changes to civilization that would result. And we'll also look to the now, at the very latest technology and applications as they hit the streets, the announcements and pronouncements of the key players, as well as the analysis and commentary we should all understand. We'll explore not just the future of AI as predicted by some of the greatest science fiction writers from across the world, such as Ian Banks, Sishin Liu, and William Gibson, but we'll look at the history of AI as foreshadowed by the ancient Greek and Roman civilizations as well. We'll dive into Homer's Iliad of the 8th century BC, where he incredibly wrote of Hephaestus and his AI handmaidens made of gold. Humankind's been hooked on the wonder of artificial intelligence since our arrival on this planet. We'll look at how the most famous philosophers and psychologists both provided a framework for understanding intelligence and what it would mean for a computer to truly become sentient as we explore Aristotle's definitions of passive and active intellect. The infamous trolley problem, illustrating the ethical dilemmas that we and our AI grapple with daily, will also take centre stage, along with John Searle's Chinese Room Thought Experiment, where his distinction between strong and weak AI are well illustrated. And we'll look to modern concepts, such as social class, race and gender identity, as an optic to the future of an ethical and representative AI that doesn't fall into the traps of our recent past. We'll look at AI's role in love and relationships and whether your best friend or true love could ever truly be digital. Big Brother's not only watching you, but as a result, it's storing and analysing the terabytes of data and then taking predictive and remedial action across the governments and security services of the world. How will we best marry that with the rights of all our citizens? We'll look at AI's role in war, from waging it on the battlefield to strategising it in the nuclear bunkers of world leaders to starting them on their own terms against humanity. We'll consider AI as both upholder of the law and predictor of crime waves. We'll dive into AI in sport from improving tactics and performance on the pitch to how today's VAR to support human decision making on the sports pitches of the world will become the fully automated, more accurate and instantaneous decisions of the future. AI and transport will be here too, not just self-driving cars, but just how far are autonomous passenger planes from becoming reality and how might AI help shorten long haul flights from hours to minutes? We'll look at AI's impact on how we educate our children and perceive the concept of knowledge and how that in turn impacts its application in business while simultaneously reinventing the very idea of experience and expertise. We'll look at AI in healthcare and well-being, where the concepts of improving health and extending life expectancy will start to intersect with immortality and how AI might create that immortality and put each of us in the cloud and redefine our relationship with the concept of a supreme being. We'll move off our planet and explore the solar system and beyond with AI's capabilities to reimagine science and space and how AI will transform our exploration of Mars, the solar system and beyond and why our AI will likely be the first contact experience between extraterrestrial life and the human race. We'll look at how this exponentially expanding reach will redefine our very relationship with our own existence and our place in the cosmos that will change everything. I for AI will take you on this incredible journey and when we reach the end, not only will the world have changed, but we will have changed too. Join me here now. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the next video. Post a comment if there's a topic you'd like us to cover that I haven't mentioned and we'll see you here very soon. When you're done, I'll make you